Hi, this is Dr. Goldberg, uh, continuing our infectious disease lecture series. Um, today we're briefly going to talk about prion disease, P-R-I-O-N. What a baffling disease, miserable problem, uh, sometimes difficult to uh, diagnose, but we'll go over some of the uh, clinical signs and uh, symptoms um, so that you have a little little understanding. So who knows really what this is? You know, it's a uh, there's an aberrant form of normal host cellular uh, protein. Uh, apparently, there's a transformation of three-dimensional structures, unfolding and a flipping of normal con uh, con conformation into an abnormal form of protein, which is protease resistant, cannot be uh, broken down. So there's a cascade of normal layer sheet forms which change to abnormal uh, forms within the cell. And this is a disease that's previously been seen in sheep, goats, mink, cows, deer, uh, and elk. Human cases, of course, have occurred uh, you know, over the last several decades. Um, Kuru, Jakob Crutzfeld disease are obviously what prion disease is. There's usually a prodrome of weakness, subtle personality changes, disturbances of sleep, and eating patterns in about one-third of the patients. It's rapidly progressive. Onset of death is in seven to nine months. And really the five main clinical symptoms are this. One, increasing confusion with dementia, myoclonus, ataxia, and visual disturbances. So there's like a cortical blindness, there's visual, visual field cuts, there's, this is a fatal disease, no treatment, incubation period is bizarre, 1 to 20 years. The EEG shows bilateral, synchronous, bi- and triphasic periodic sharp wave complexes. Pretty classic. And the CSF is acellular, though there's an elevated in the tau protein or the 14-3-3 protein marker. There's also classic findings on the MRI uh, for prion disease. At autopsy, there's a reactive gliosis, a vacuolation, and there's a positive stain for PRP. So that's kind of what we look for. Uh, obviously, anybody who gets rapidly confused and demented uh, with myoclonus, ataxia, and visual changes, you should think of prion disease. Uh, so this is a nice summary of uh, prion disease. Hopefully, it'll help you if you see anybody who's uh, might fit the this category. Uh, but it's a devastating uh, illness.